Zaza. They go straight to the Mada. Then I'm up in the chopper, hitting the cha cha. Open his Zaza. Um, blessings upon blessings to each and every one of you that came and chime on into my commentary video know that your thoughts and your opinion are always welcome on the comments down below remember these are my thoughts and my opinion on anything i cover on this channel your opinions and thoughts like i say you can always state it in the comments as well um with all due respect any other channels y'all watch y'all don't have to come over here and let me know what's going on because i'm only covering the people that i tend to cover and you know that are out there on youtube anybody else that does commentary neither that's not my concern not my business their commentaries their commentary my commentary is my commentary it's all love and respect from my end to their end but other than that so let's get into it like i said my own thoughts my own opinion and we all could debate it on the comments down below um i'm thinking on doing live soon going live to discuss certain topics certain situation but that is not current because you know i have to get a lot of things situated but as well you know i appreciate all the prayers that you guys have sent out to me all the reach out for me just know everything is coming along you know it's coming along it's a long fight but at the end of the day life is life and we don't have to give up we just got to keep on pushing with you know with prayers but other than that let's get into it so i've been seeing <clears throat> i'm able to catch up on situations that been going on on you know on social media from mucker making a major appearance now to be a daddy to toya allegedly has a new lover from j michael responding and latoya Res well j michael doing his commentary and latoya coming out with her own video towards j michael i know i'm gonna be how can i say it it's going to be out of order, but I'm going to try my best to get on order and give my own opinions and thoughts on everything. So, but first I want to start off with the thing she put, I guess the secret is out. And that's Latoya too, as I heard from a young lady that sent it to me on Instagram. That was supposed to be to J. Michael. See, I saw J. Michael video and to be quite honest and transparent, um, to me, J. Michael ain't said nothing wrong. He didn't say nothing wrong. He was actually giving her, as a woman, you know, motivation. And, you know, as he wasn't downgrading her like he did before. He was just telling her, you understand, she moved too fast. And I think everybody already knew she had before moved it too fast. And we know at the end of the day that she had got a divorce from Mucker. You know, as you got him is how you lose them and mucker showed a lot of signs you know from any woman that was to get to him that you know he has a pattern and a history of of infidelity and not being loyal and faithful to a woman so nine out of ten she was going to experience the same thing another woman had experienced prior before her so let's go say she got the end of the shitty stick and blase blase she moved on you understand but if i'm not mistaken on the live she used to do on instagram one of her friends the blabbermouth had indicated before that she was already you know moved on and had a that she already moved on and she was in you know dating or seeing somebody so this is not nothing new to be quite honest and if she is, like I said, it's not my business. I knew or don't care. But I'm going to give my opinions and thoughts because it's my character commentary. And I owe it to the subscribers that are subscribed to me for the Mucker and Toya and, you know, Cry and Erica part. Majority of the ones that came onto my channel are for a whole different, a whole different, different situation I covered. But let me get into it and let me watch the video with you guys. And I will be pausing. Because like I said, I ain't got to see the whole thing. So I'm going to watch it here so I can pause in between and get my own uh, opinion on it. But like I said, this will probably be a long video. So y'all want to stay in, stay in. Y'all like, could chop it up with me in the comments. Like I said, but let's get to it. Right here. I hate these commercials. And we're back at third quarter planning. Adam 
I mean, YouTube is only drama if you bring drama into YouTube. YouTube is only drama if you, you know, at the end of the day, affiliate yourself with drama. I mean, you cannot stop if somebody's going to talk about you. You understand? You just got to build yourself. <laughs> you got to build yourself a backbone and deal with it. But at the end of the day, like, you either ignore the bullshit that's not true, speak your peace, and keep moving. Or like I say, fuck it at the end of the day. People gonna talk regardless of anything, but you know, like I say, she she brings the drama to herself because the last Instagram live that I seen, um, I saw a whole different side of her. So like I say, I don't know these people. Um, I don't conversate with anyone no more because at the end of the day, you only have to show me a certain way uh your true colors and i'll push on like i'll cut people off fast without no hesitation so it is what it is love all of that okay but as you all know i don't like drama okay so it kills me when anybody random can just come out and say they know me or say they know what's going on with my life and you've never met me a day in your life it is hilarious to me. Hilarious. Especially when someone believes it. You know, my thing is, I'm educated. I'm pretty sure a lot of you are educated. Especially my supporters. I know they're educated because of things that they reach out to me and say. Mm -hmm. the, the support that they give me and how they always tell me, girl, you know, you are just doing amazing. And when you're striving and when you're doing something with your life there are always going to be people that are just so unhappy that's going to try to weigh you down like that's it's a part of life unfortunately it is a part of i mean it's not like it's uh, it's a part of life point blank but you only get in what you put out at the end of the day you put out an image and you put yourself out there and staying true to yourself people only talking about only thing I can say, people, I can't talk for others, only can talk for myself. I'm only going to talk about what people put out there. I'm not going to go and talk about stories that, to me, don't have enough proof, enough validation, enough, you know, how can I say it? Um, overall, enough proof to show me it's legit. You understand? I'm not going to put a story out there that is not true because I, to me, I ain't trying to damage nobody's character. Even though if they damage their own character, they damage their own name on the platform, I don't want no parts of it. But at the end of the day, she cannot sit here and get mad at anyone who has their own opinion on how she's conducted herself or what is she doing because she is a, I'm going to say, a little public figure that decided for her life out there. And, and her life has been out there since she got with Mucker, Damien, and the Erica fiasco. You know, she's no better than Erica. Erica's no better than her. You understand? They both, at the end of the day, both women have flaws. At the end of the day, the both women, to me, got game on them. At the end of the day, both women knows how to talk shit, you know, talk their way out of shit, know how to navigate the game. I don't put it past, put it past anyone, and I'm going to put it past these two women. At the end of the motherfucking day is... You cannot get mad if anyone has an opinion or a commentary or even anything to state or what you put out there. Like I said, I'm not going to talk on anything that does not have validation, does not have significant enough proof to say that this person is indulging in this situation or this person is, you know, doing this with their life. And Because I don't go by he say, I don't go by she say, I go by proof. Proof. I need validation or proof of anything. So that's why I don't hardly talk on certain situations that is not for me having enough proof. I'm only going to talk on what is being bought. So she can't get mad of anyone. Anyone that does commentary just like myself, she cannot get mad if they have their own opinions and thought. Because at the end of the day, we are here to bring entertainment and bring 
connect with our subscribers and, and let them talk freely on how they feel anything that we may cover. wrong people was going oh we had something to say i don't know her mindset i really don't know how my her mindset or how she really think on certain situation because at the end of the day even if you're homeless even if you're a drug addict even if you lose it all even if you have it all even if you have the the most money in the world the 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 best family etc etc at the end of the day we are human and people are going to talk about us no matter what i think you're just bitter and hurt because you are in a spotlight that you put yourself in let's go common sense she put herself in this the way the other people that are attached to this situation the erica the crier i mean the erica the world those people i'm naming mucker you know they put themselves on this spotlight they decided to you know to indulge in the bullshit and the drama so no matter what people are in tune and people are watching so that if you lose it all or you, you do got it all no matter what people is going to talk about people regardless either you're going to just keep pushing and, and, and pay no mind to it or just live in misery and continue indulging what people have to say about you happened here Toya and, and you're not seeing the bigger picture out of the whole situation I'm speaking for myself on how I feel like I'm not speaking on like I said y'all opinion thoughts are truly welcome in the comments down below like I said we all got different mindset we all think differently but how I feel about the situation with her if she would have stood true to herself and be truly herself and say this is me take it or take it or leave it I don't give a fuck you know have that kind of mindset but at the end of the day she allowed it, her goofy ass friend and herself to show the ass off real bad and talking the way they talk on people that that has you know some type of health issues that you know at the end of the day is you know struggling to get a diploma or struggling to go to school and finish what you gotta do because life is hard or even talk on that baby like i don't give a fuck about the mother i don't give a fuck about the father but when it comes to kids i am the type of person that i will speak out because kids don't have a voice for themselves so as you allowed your friends to even talk about that child it showed and you engaged and you laughed and you giggled and then you used the alcohol as an excuse because i always say a drunk mind speak a sober word so to me the way you was able to show your ass out with your friend it showed a whole new picture of you you understand and then double backing on it and like i say you you say you went through a lot of stuff in life we all go through a lot of shit in life we all going through something in life me in particular i'm going through something in life but i'll be damn i'm gonna let that hold me down i'm gonna be damn i'm gonna explain it to somebody no i keep it to myself because i don't trust nobody you understand what your thing is you trust too much in people and, and, and you're gonna be your own biggest downfall you're not never staying true to yourself you put you're painting yourself into be something to please other people and i feel like you had to please yourself at the end of the day the way you navigated and the way you did shit on their live just showed it a whole new demeanor of your own self but like i said 
whatever's going on with I heard she has a new man or something. I will get into that because right now I'm I'm just gonna go a little left field. Somebody's doing something with their life on you. Get matched with a local tax expert. Wait, me pause this. Okay, so uh, so whoever the channel, which I know is Jay Michael, because you know, like I said, they told me already. Um, she's trying to make a statement, and, and I see Jay Michael, like I said, video when he said something about you know having money, paying check, whatever. She's saying on one side, and she said all the little channels. That's little, little channels like myself, whatever, and other people that watches her, you know, signs the check. But at the end of the day, let's not forget, you say you don't need YouTube for nothing. You say you never need a YouTube for anything. That is a side hustle. So your side hustle became a job. And I don't knock it. Like I said, get it by any means necessary. And I don't knock nobody. If they selling drugs, selling themselves, going to school, being a nurse, being a lawyer, being a police, being a firefighter. I'm a humble ass bitch. I don't take it away from them. Get it by any means necessary. But never let, never allow the money to change your persona of who you are. Never allow the money to ever look down on other people. So you was always belittling people Saying people need YouTube for this People need YouTube for that That's your side hustle But now you're thinking the people Little T channels Little channels Big channels Your subscriber For paying you every 21st of the month To stack in So you could be able to do what you want to do with your money So you double back And you contradict in your words You have to remember at the end of the day no one is better than the next so if youtube is your other job say be say with your chest out that's my other job that's that's the money i get you know to put in the bank to you know accumulate more don't come and say it's your side hustle because that's not a hustle is not a job a job is a job a hustle a hustle two different things so like i said she contradicted her words at the end of the day again Obtaining my master's degree. 
three that I will be finished with January of 2025. Me as a mother that's trying to get their education, that wish they could just focus on school and only do school to be finished faster. Why would I be working these four jobs? <laughs> Damn it. Gotta wait for that commercial to pass. Alright, just get to it. All of these jobs if I have a man that's around Man, let's 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 cut the shit. There's a lot of single mothers out there busting their ass that, that's making a nine to five, even if they're flipping burgers, even whatever. Like I say, the other jobs I name, if they're single mothers, they doing it, they doing it, they doing it hard. You don't need a man to help. I mean, you don't need a man. I mean, it'd be a plus, you know, to have a man, you know, take that off your shoulder. But if you don't, at the end of the day, you don't have to have a man to complete your home, to make you make ends meet. If you're a hard-working mother, if you're a mother overall that making ends meet for your kids, struggling or not struggling, my hat's off to you all. Because at the end of the day, it's a hard job. Don't allow no one that has a bigger career or small career that thinks they have it all at the end of the day to belittle you if you're a mother making the ends meet however you making it keep on making it because at the end of the day what's important is when those kids grow up they looking at you and they say mommy you did it all for us mommy you bust your ass mommy you sweat that nine to five or mommy you bust it till you you know you went out there to i don't know how you did it but you did it you made sure we had food on our table you made sure we had clothing in our back you make sure we had a light paid off a roof off our head mommy i commend you that's the only words that should matter to you at the end of the day to any mothers at the end of the day so never allow anyone a motherfucker or a bitch that think they got it all to discriminate a how y'all make ends meet to put food and pay rent and do it all for you and your kids so i'm gonna fast forward this bullshit and get to the other one it's somebody else looking in that's not in my situation. They can, they can look in and see the logic in the situation. So if someone is going around saying they spoiled me, they dropped a hell of money on me and everything, please come help. This is about to be the first. I got two days to pay rent. <laughs> please cash that means right here on the screen if you would like to put, put towards this rent that I'm about to drop on the first. Everybody begging for cash app now. Cash app me, please. Cash app me. If you like to cash app me, I will put the cash app on my screen as well, too. Since everybody is asking for cash app, I would like cash app, too. You know? Damn it. Make it by you, make it. But I watched J. Michael um thing and I don't recall him saying that she had a but I know she said she had a man, but I don't I, I don't Did he say all that though? I guess I'm gonna have to go back and watch it. Because I just recall him giving her advice and speaking on Mukka and and speaking on if she had a man, whatever. Overall, to be quite honest with you guys, and like me genuinely speaking, because I'm a person, I don't come from no hate. I just speak, like I said, the, the, what I feel is the truth, my commentary, my thoughts, my opinion, and I speak it blunt. I don't like to cover up shit. But if you come out, if she came out of a relationship, she owed it to herself to focus on herself and her kids. Because at the end of the day, she has an issue, and she admitted before on her um, one of her videos that she has a controlling issue. 
that she likes to be in control and to me i feel like not only that that she has issue with but i feel like she's quick to fall in love like she's quick to you know bow down to that man once she's in that relationship and there's nothing wrong but at the end of the day you can't give yourself all all yourself to a man that's giving half of himself to you see that's that's what women's get fucked up at they want to give themselves all to a man while a man's giving half ass to you you understand you have to first of all she has to focus on herself focus on her kids know what what had broke her know what her flaws is know what she needs hella work on and just at the end of the day don't rush into no type of relationship and focus on what she wants to focus on and down the line when it is her destiny to be she will find a man that will meet her her standards you understand but overall i feel like like i said if she got a man she don't got a man i don't give two flying fucks because that's her that's not me but if i was speaking to her the way I speak to my friends out here. And if you got cheated on, you got hurt, you got, you know, abusive relationship, you just coming out, whatever well, kind of relationship that was traumatic that you came out from, focus on self-healing. Focus on, you know, the damage that it cost you within and without. Because right now she's saying she got trust issues. Maybe the trust issue she caused on herself, maybe it didn't. I don't know. I was not in that relationship. I was not in that marriage. So I won't know. So she needs to work on herself as a woman, as a future partner for whoever's going to come her way, so she could know what to accept and what not to accept. Because I feel like for all women, it's not cute to continue to bring different men in your house to your kids. Because that is showing a standard especially if you have a a young girl in your life a little daughter in your life that is not cute to continue to it's okay to go with this man it's okay to go with that man it's okay to bring him into your house it's okay to to put them right there it's not okay because us as women has to have self-respect self-love self-dignity and to know that we are worth more than a piece of ass and a piece of pussy so at the end of the day, if she wants to rush in a relationship, if she wants to do that and if she wants to sugarcoat the shit, she's just going to keep on falling and bumping her head and causing her own self pain. The ones that are watching me right now that don't like me, which makes no sense at all because I don't go out my way to watch You secretly trying to tell me that? You know, I'm just... <laughs> um, I want to know, this is what I'm trying to say, like, it be a lot of people doing video contact on her. I, I didn't see him come out hard for her to even put the video out there. He just said he heard that she was in a relationship. Who he heard it from? Who knows who she heard it from? Who he heard it from but at the end of the day like if it's not true why entertain it you had enough and it's quite honest let's be transparent like let's be real like you had other opportunities to come out and speak up for yourself when there was anybody was saying harsh things on your name saying like belittled things and everything you had enough time to come out 
and talk on it or make a video on it but you choose out of everything people say you choose to because this certain individual that y'all have a clash out against each other say that he heard that you was you know in a relationship etc etc you decided to clap back off of that you could have clapped back when there was a lot of allegations out there to the core but you didn't and I'm not understanding and then maybe it's not my place to understand it's just all hilarious to me you know thank you for not dogging me today and calling me out my name for once but I'm just I'm just appalled with things that could just be made up commercials We can make up right now. Latoya's pregnant. Oh, I'm expecting. <laughs> I'm four months, but still. I just, it's just hilarious to me, to be honest. You know, with just allow me to leave with what I came into this marriage with. And that's the way we did it. Nice, calm, and easy. Peace. Even with me being back in this. Okay, I'm done. I don't feel like reacting to that no more. Only thing I have to say, final it up, let's summarize it up, let's finish this up. Only thing I have to say is do better for yourself, do better for your kids. Only thing I gotta say is humble yourself as well. You know, you cannot get mad at other people's thoughts and opinions. If people create narratives that are not true, as long as you know it's not true, just keep on pushing. But at the end of the day, you're no saint. Erica's no saint. I'm no saint, you know, and other people that are on YouTube ain't no saint, you know, but at the end of the motherfucking day is, you understand, you portray yourself to be something and then you go do another thing. I feel like you should have the true to who you are. Are. If she left out that marriage, she left out the marriage, they broke up, they broke up. But I feel like she, her main focus should be her kids. Her main focus should be herself. Her main focus should be getting her mindset together. But at the end of the day, these people, unfortunately, the Erica, the Mucker, the Damien is not gonna change so it's like me repeating the same old same old and i don't care you understand because i can speak my shit because it's my channel but at the end of the day i feel like her energy that energy she had she should have had it a couple years ago because a couple years ago that's when shit was very very boiling hot water but she could have came out and did a video like this but she chose not why she did it now i don't know and i do not care to be quite honest but do you know somebody came and tell me that she has a man and i'm like what do you want me to do what do you want me to do it's not my business that's her coochie that's her life and she decided to leave one relationship to go to the next she's just gonna have to continue to live the way she's living and, and continue to suffer because at the end of the day when you're not healed and you're not healed from your past and you keep on re picking up the same cycle of men's and you keep on going in the same situation of lying with men's it goes you keep picking the same men's because for a reason you need to self-heal self-love spend time with yourself be okay i understand women's and men's it's okay to be by yourself it's okay to enjoy your own company it's okay to wake up stress-free from no man from no woman it is okay i'd rather be by myself than being with the bad company i'd rather be by myself than sleeping with the enemy without me knowing i'd rather be by myself and she needs to learn and Erica needs to learn to learn to be by themselves because Erica ain't no saint. Erica could be quiet as well, but she could be doing dirt on the side. I don't put it past that bitch and no bitch for nothing. And I don't care who gets mad because like I said, it's my commentary and I'm not here to kiss ass with nobody. Nobody. But that's all I have to say. Like I said, she could have, you know cleared up a lot of shit before a little small thing like this she decided to clear it up why because maybe something is true maybe
but like I said, I can't speak on it because I don't have enough proof. I don't have enough evidence and I don't go by he say or she say. I go about enough evidence. But that's about it. That's about all. And with the mucker situation, I will be coming out talking on it. Maybe tomorrow. Most likely tomorrow. And then with the Damien as well too. And can't talk about Erica because she haven't been on yet. So but I won't put a bad old girl either. So that's my opinions and thoughts. Your opinions and thoughts all welcome in the comments down below. Even we agree to disagree. It's all love and respect for my end. Remember, you are you. You are unique unique in your own way. And never allow no one to dim your shot. And remember, it's okay to be by yourself. Self-love is the best love. Because your own love will never fuck you up at the end. And you will never do your own self dirty. So, I'll see you guys in the next video.